Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Casino Heist DLC. It is finally here and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview on how you can get started with the heist and also a bit of a general overview of how everything works. So let's get right into it. First of all, what you want to do as soon as you spawn into GTA Online is head down to Mirror Park where you will find a green L on your map, which of course means Lester. When you arrive at that location, a cutscene will start playing, which will kind of go over the story and what exactly is going on and the story behind this whole idea of a casino heist. And once you've done that, Lester will send you a text message, which will tell you like, hey, if you want to get started with this heist, what you should do is buy an arcade property. Now there's multiple ways you can go about this if you are a twitch prime member you are able to get an arcade property for free which is the one at Polito, which obviously is not the best location you can get however if you are a twitch prime member and you do not have the money to buy a more normal location in the los santos this could obviously be an option if you're not yet familiar with twitch prime and how all that stuff works there's an eye in the sky that will guide you to a video that will explain everything and if you already are a Twitch Prime member and you happen to be not subscribed to any of your favorite streamers on Twitch, feel free to consider me by clicking the link in the description down below. Now in terms of price range for people who don't have Twitch Prime, it ranges between 1.2 and 2.5 million dollars. Now having said this, the two locations in Polito and Grapeseed are obviously not the best choices, so you best off if you can scrap those off your options. There is a pretty damn good location for a 1.8 million dollar mark, which is relatively close to the casino and as far as I can tell it shouldn't give you too much trouble with the missions this is something that I'm personally assuming because the one I have is the most expensive one down in Vinewood Hills which is the 2.5 million having said this though as long as you're in Los Santos and you're relatively close to the casino or just in Los Santos in general you're gonna be more than fine the most of the time you're gonna be spending missions are gonna be in and around Los Santos and you're typically gonna go back to your arcade business in order to start delivering the stuff that you have picked up once you bought an arcade business what you want to do is you want to head down there watch another cutscene and then do the very first setup mission which you can do from the laptop on the ground if you happen to not be in the arcade business or you happen to disconnect or whatever i'm showing on screen right now how exactly you can access the underground area in case you need to know that once you're done with the setup what you want to do is you want to make your way to the highest planning board where you will have a couple of options that being another scope up mission or purchase any of the three extras now you're gonna have to splash out a total of one and a half million in order to purchase all these things and for what we can sell so far this really seems to be more something how you can familiarize yourself with these things that are more than likely going to happen within the finale this is something that we don't know yet as as far as i'm aware no one has to reach finale yet at the time of recording this video so stay tuned to the channel for a heist guide whenever we know more about that. On the heist board itself, you have a couple of options to do. First of all, you could decide to continue with your scope out missions, or you could decide to start purchasing some equipment in order to practice the hacking stuff that you're going to have to do within what I presume is going to be the finale. Now, this stuff is going to cost you 1.5 million, and at the time of recording, we are not quite sure how effective it actually is to purchase this. For what I can tell, and the foot puzzles that I have done, on it really is something so you can get familiar with how all the puzzles are going to be so if that's something that's worth investing into for you i would personally say you know go for it but for what i can tell for what i've seen so far it seems to be a bit of a waste of money however again this is something that we haven't seen in the finale itself because we haven't been able to reach that just yet so stay tuned for that on the guide for the heist and all that stuff whenever i have that information so once you've done the scope out missions, it's time to start figuring out what exactly you want to do and what approach you want to do. Because there's three different approaches which all are going to have different outcomes, etc, etc. Now personally, I went for the middle one, which is the big con, which also happens to unlock the new pistol, which is in the game. So if you're looking to unlock that, that is probably the way you want to go for your very first heist. Now after you select your approach, you will get a variety of different options for you to do. First of all, from a big con uh, perspective, you need to have three different people selected for the job you want to do. These are AI people like you have in single player. Yes, it is completely possible to do this stuff solo. All the missions that I've been showing are able to be done as a solo player, which is pretty damn great if you ask me. However, we don't know how the finale and all that stuff is going to work because again, we don't have that information, but 
for that what I've seen, everyone is able to do all these missions that are preparing for the big finale and the big heist is all able to be done solo, like you could in the prep missions in a doomsday heist. So once you've selected your approach and you've selected the people you want to be using like you do in single player with how good they actually are and how much percentage and all that stuff, then you can get started on doing all the other stuff and then you will be just gradually working your way forward to inevitably starting to rob the place, which I'm personally still working on as well but for what i can see there seems to be a lot to this one in terms of prep missions so you're going to be busy with this for a little while and from what i've seen it seems to be the only heist in the game but obviously there's also three different approaches to it so i'm sure there's a lot of replayability within it. but that was it for this one thank you so very much for watching if you enjoyed or found it useful make sure to leave it a like subscribe for much more casino heist dlc content coming to you very soon and i'll see you all later